Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking through SEMU for the Nintendo Wii U. So get ready. Alright guys, so we're going to be talking through SEMU, uh, which is a Wii U emulator. So first things first, we're going to go to the website to get the emulator, uh, SEMU.info. And uh, yeah, you'll be taken here and you will see the latest release that we're looking at today is SEMU 1.13.0F. It's the latest version, it looks like it just came out on the 5th. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna go ahead and download this and uh, you'll just press that. You'll take the file that uh, you place and you'll like, extract it in your emulators folder. Uh, you will see some files that uh, you don't have when you unzip this. Uh, I will include this in um, the FTP Emmy Movies uh, uh, section of the Ninja 2BC and Dojo. So, Take a look at that uh, and uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So once you have that, uh, what you'll want to do is open up Hyper HQ. You'll press the main menu wizard, push the plus sign and select uh, a sub wheel and it'll congratulate you. So then go to the wheel settings uh, tab. You'll select Nintendo Wii U. You'll see all the same settings as I've got by default. And we're gonna move on to the wheel adjust the wheel settings uh, to match your other wheels. I've got it to 0.15. And then I've got animate uh, themes out and uh, reload backgrounds and then wheels only. Uh, these games are massive, by the way. Uh, we're then going to videos and sounds. Those are all default. And then your special art, you're going to select uh, whatever you use. I use the bottom special art and then up at the top right is my uh, genre art uh, so that's what that's all about and i'm going to go ahead and close out hyper hq because we are set there next we're going to go to rocket launcher and i, I was looking ahead of time just to kind of see where i put my uh, emulator uh, auto hotkey and it looks like i don't have it under the global settings uh, which is fine for me uh, but you've got two options here uh, you could go to your global settings, go to the emulator tab and push the plus sign because SEMU will not be there. Uh, it's uh, uh, too new, if you will. So um, you can press the plus sign, double click it, and you will uh, match the same settings as what I've got here. Or you could just go to the emulators tab for the Nintendo Wii U section and basically do the same thing. So push the plus sign and uh, your path is going to be the SEMU XE. Your ROM extensions are going to be 7Z, RPX, LNX, and then your module is going to be SEMU Auto Hotkey. I'll include that in the Emmy Movies uh, FTP site. And uh, let's keep going. So next uh, we've got the default emulator. So once you've pushed the plus sign and added what I just uh, told you, you're gonna push the magnifying glass for the default emulator, select SEMU. And then the game paths, uh, what I like to do for this uh, is basically have a couple folders here. Uh, push the plus sign, and then uh, since compatibility is uh, growing, I've got a folder for uh, working and then one for crashes. Uh, these are the ones that are important. These other ones, uh, you know, uh, you don't necessarily have to have, uh, but just to be safe, I'd also recommend using a uh, 7Z extract folder, and you can put this in your rocket launcher folder. And if you followed the rocket launcher tutorial, you should already have that. Uh, but uh, you will want to make sure that under the global settings, your uh, 7Z, or, yeah, under the global settings, general settings, uh, what you should have is a 7Z uh, folder here. Um, let's see here it is so it's under settings folder 
7z extract path is 7z extract folder. Uh, you're going to want that uh, set up. So uh, let's kind of finish things off here. So um, once you have all the paths for your games, then we're going to move to the settings tab. And you're going to mirror what I've got here. Everything's set to use global, uh, with the exception of 7Z, I've set to true. Uh, that is because uh, the games are massive, and uh, if you choose to zip those up to save some space, uh, that's what 7Z is all about. Uh, the only downfall is, is it will take a while to unzip when you try to load that game. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. And... Uh, it, basically, if you've uh, set up your rocket launcher setup based on uh, what I recommended in my rocket launcher videos, then what it'll do is it will unzip uh, two or three games and uh, they'll stay unzipped in this Z extract folder. So uh, if you run it a second time, it's not going to uh, take as long. It's going to basically boot up right at the beginning. Um, and once you've basically played uh, X number of games, so let's say you played four games on this system, then what it'll do is it'll delete the extraction. It won't delete your original game. It'll just delete the extract extraction. So uh, basically you're saving some space. So uh, all that's doing is it's allowing you to uh, you know, play th play the unzip game. So that's what this uh, delete temporary is all about. So um, it's only going to mess with your uh, extractions, and this is uh, really to save time and save uh, uh, space. So uh, let's see, what else do we have? Everything else is general. Uh, use global. We're going to check the fades. Everything is global. Fade out is set to false and everything's good there and bezels i've got set to true uh that's what that use uh, global is all about and uh, you've got rocket launcher uh, set up here so uh, next we are going to actually go into the emulator uh, so if i go to the modules tab semu auto hotkey and uh you know if you don't have this auto hotkey it's not going to show up here so uh definitely take a look at my FTP and uh, get that and uh, what you're going to want to do is drop this in your uh, rocket launcher folder and go to modules create a folder for SEMU which is here and you can see I've got a couple backups uh, the ISD and the auto hotkey is what you will need to nab and uh, drop in there but I'll include that in the FTP so you don't have to worry about it Next, we've got these uh, little notes. Um, so basically, it's saying the the keys dot text uh, you'll need uh, for common keys. Uh, that I'll include in the FTP. And uh, yep, so that's uh, that's that. And uh, we're gonna close that out. We're gonna launch the emulator. This is what you'll see. So uh, first things first, what you're going to do is uh, go to options and let's just see what we got here. You're going to set that to medium. If you want a separate uh, gamepad view, so if you want like a second uh, screen, if you will, to see the actual gamepad, uh, that's what that's all about. I don't have that set to on because not many games use it. Uh, general settings, uh, everything is set to default. Uh, and uh, the game paths, what you're going to do is just hit add and then select the game paths that you have. Graphics, I've got everything checked except for the disabled shaders. And uh, we're going to move on. we got direct sound, primary sound driver. Um, you know, that's going to depend on what device you have. And I don't have anything online. So uh, we are going to go back to input settings. Now this will get you guys if... Uh, you don't pay attention. Um, so I am pretty sure there's a bug in um, you know this release or uh, maybe prior releases as well. But if you try to set up your gamepad, your pro controller, your classic controller, your Wii uh, remote controller, it's going to look like it's saved. But when you actually uh, play a game, 
you're gonna see that it wiped out all of your settings. Uh, I don't understand it, but you know, I'm trying to rationalize. Well, it's because the Pro Controller and the Classic Controller are basically the same thing, but I, I, I don't know, guys. So what I'm trying to say is set up your uh, Wii Remote. So here I'm gonna go uh, Gamepad, we're gonna load that. Um, basically set up your Gamepad set up your uh, uh, Wii remote uh, you know if you need it but your uh, your Wii uh, gamepad is uh, what you're gonna want to do so it's got all this uh, controls available that will play on any of the games and once you set that up uh, you're gonna type in your profile name, I selected a uh, gamepad. Uh, so you're just gonna go through, select all of these. Um, you can uh, use X input as well as uh, keyboard input. Uh, looks like uh, this is kind of a mix actually, but it, it does work. Um, I don't know why it, it changed things here, but um, just go through it. And if you want uh, the keyboard, you'll just push keyboard. You'll type in all your uh, keys here and then if you want your x input so that means if you want to put your controller in your usb uh, you'll need to select the controller drop down to controller one you'll push this little uh, icon here and it will connect and then you'll just type in all your keys uh, based on your uh, controller and you'll hit save up at the top here and then you can test by selecting the profile, which is game pad for me. And I hit load. So you can see that, yeah, see it's kind of buggy here. So there's the X input. I still don't know why I've got the keys here. There's, uh, they still work, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, controller one uh, is set up and uh, you see the connection there. If you want controller two, you're gonna do the same thing. Go to controller two. Uh, and select uh, another uh, profile name. I could have named these better, I guess. Um, and you're gonna see there's the gamepad. I've got everything set up. Again, that's kind of weird here. Uh, but, and then these two things are the same uh, as player one, the pro controller and the classic controller. It seems to wipe out, if you will. Uh, there's the Wii uh, settings. Uh, you'll want to uh, check mark the nunchuck, uh, you know, button here to get this to display off to the right so you can set that up. And you'll hit save and then you'll want to test it by pressing load. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you're going to close out and uh, you've got Semu uh, essentially set up. So experimental, I've got uh, under options as use. Region, I've got set to auto. Language, I've got set to English. Tools, CPU, all of that is out of the box. And uh, you've got that thing up and running. So um, I hope that helps, guys. And uh, as a request, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, at least launch the beginning of this so you see the fade that it does, in fact, work. Um, so here we go. Well, sorry, that's launching the emulator. We are going to go to a smaller game. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, showing you the launching of the game. It was successful. Um, takes a minute or two uh, to actually load, regardless of it being 7 zipped or not. Uh, but let me know if you guys have any questions, and uh, we'll catch you next time.